My name is Shannon Walker and I'm the founder and CEO of Northwest Battle Buddies. And I'm here with Koa, the service dog that I am training to be a service dog for veterans through the Northwest Battle Buddies Service Dog Program. And this is exactly where it started. This is where I introduced you to Koa. And when I sat here a year ago, I was just sitting here with him. He was three months old and he was in my lap being silly. And now I'm here with his entire pack. Um, these are all the dogs that he lives with now. You know, I've had him for a year and I've shared with you what he's gone through, his first Christmas, his first Thanksgiving. I shared with you his first swim, being in the grocery store, being in the mall, learning how to ride in a vehicle and just the fun things that we got to do through the last year as we were preparing him for a veteran. And he actually meets his veteran in two days. And this is the last video I'm gonna do with him. But I wanted to introduce to you his pack and also the changes that happened this year. So when Koa came into the house, he was three months old and we had Caliber, he's a five-year-old English lab. And then we had Toby, who's my mom's mutt dog from a shelter. And we also had Rondo, a beautiful Rottweiler that um, had been my dog for a lot of years. And he actually passed away about five months ago. And so our pack changed. And um, watching the dogs go through what that transition looked like, making sure that I brought leadership and support for the pack uh, and the stability of the pack, because Rondo was very strong um, in his presence. And he brought a lot of security, especially when I wasn't there. And when I would be gone for a few days, after Rondo died, mom actually was telling me about how Caliber walked around and was whining because of the lack of security. And I thought that was so interesting. I knew that that was the pack dynamic, but I've never heard Caliber whine in my entire life. And so about three, four months ago, we brought Valiant in. Valiant is my, he's now six month old German Shepherd dog. Beautiful, amazing dog who actually doesn't have a down command yet. Down. So that's why he's sitting. Um, but I felt, I felt it was important since this is where it all began. And if you watched any of the videos, you've seen Koa's journey. You've seen our journey together. You've seen the fun, you've seen the Christmas tree, you've seen the poisonous food, the poisonous plants. You've seen him learn and you've seen him grow. And you saw him swim for the first time. And I thought it would be really fitting that that's how we would end this with him before he meets his veteran and bring all the dogs to enjoy the end of this journey with him. And I will tell you that um, I'm excited for the veteran whose life he's absolutely gonna change forever. And that is what this was all about. It was all about serving our American heroes, providing a service dog that will absolutely change their life because our veterans deserve it and they need it. The suicide rate amongst our American heroes is 22 veterans a day. And we have provided two, Northwest Battle Buddies has provided 212 service dogs to our veterans. And we have not lost one veteran to suicide. And Co is gonna be a part of that. We're starting a group of 14 veterans and you're gonna see it all. You're gonna, we're gonna video him meeting his veteran. You're gonna see all of it. What's gonna change for me is right now, Koa sleeps on my bed every night. He obviously lives in my home, lays on the recliner with me. He is the best snuggler. But more importantly, he's so solid and he's gonna task for that veteran. He's gonna mitigate the symptoms of PTSD and he's gonna add freedom and independence to the life of this veteran who, whose life he's gonna change. And so his purpose is so much greater than my tears. But it doesn't mean I'm not gonna shed them. So tomorrow night is the last night in my room and then he's gonna be sleeping in the kennel so he can bond to his veteran over five weeks of training and then he will be gifted. And then I will be able to be a part of that journey and watch him change that life. And um, I'm grateful I had this opportunity. I'm grateful I had to share it with you. But clearly this was a labor of love. I don't know that I will ever do it again, but I'm glad I got to do it with him. So this is my pack for the next two days. Thank you for watching. 
we're going to go swimming. And just I want you to know that even though I'm crying, I know. I wouldn't change it for the world. Hey, I know we're excited. <laughs> wait, 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 ready? I know it. I know it. There you go. Brilliant. You wanna go in there? <laughs> hey. Come here. Okay, hey, well, I can't think of a better way to end this journey. I'm playing in the water, just like we began. I'll be forever changed for it. I have a new perspective of what our fosters go through. And I've always done whatever I could for Northwest Battle Buddies and our American heroes, and this is just one more layer. But I can't imagine ending it another way. And I'm really grateful that I got to share it with you. Come on, come on, come on.